Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Friday night. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, let me go ahead and do a little house cleaning. I start this show when I want to. So don't, don't, don't start that. Don't start that. Welcome, everybody. Y'all please click like and share. Y'all click like and share. I got something for you. I'm in a good festive mood tonight. It's Friday. I got my crown on. Y'all want to see my crown? Okay. Hold on. I'm about to cut up. I'm going to start the show off cutting up. I ain't got no filter tonight. I really don't care. I really don't care, y'all. I'm just going to have a good time. Uh, tonight's show is unofficially sponsored by Reynolds Rap. Tinfoil, as the country folks say. Hey, what's up? How y'all doing? <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm about to let everybody have everybody about to get this smoke tonight. Oh boy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh. Everybody about to get this smoke tonight. Y'all already know. The mood I'm in. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, you better might want to blow me up on TV if you got a Roku. Because I'm about to cut up. I'm going to have a whole house rock. Oh, Lordy. Mm -mm -mm. Tonight, second unofficial sponsor is Burger King. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the pretty pussy pink lips, baby. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> Shout out to King Payne. King Payne, I told you I was going to cut up, boy. I told you I was going to act a fool tonight, boy. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. That's right. 10 for Reynolds rap. Speaking of Reynolds rap, uh, oh, we up to 100. I can go and get started. I, something came across my desk. And uh, and I saw this, and you know, y'all y'all might be a little squeamish tonight, but I, I'm, I'm I'm it's Friday, and I'm I'm going I'm going in now. See, y'all used to get on me about this here, and y'all said this was too much. Y'all said this was a little too much. So this ain't nothing compared to what I got across my desk. Oh, this is only the beginning. This is Bishop OnlyFans right here. This is before he gained the weight and looked like a butterball turkey. 
He don't look like that no more. He look like this here right now. He look like this here. So here we go. Y'all ready? Yeah, if y'all ready, put a put a put a uh put a, a one in the chat if y'all ready for me to go on and, and release this video. It's gonna play about three, four times. I'm gonna keep playing it and I'm gonna keep laughing and roasting because somebody told him that it was a good idea and that he looked good doing it. So I'm about to go in before i get my show started can i get a few more ones please because i know some of y'all is new but uh yeah we we gonna we gonna keep it rolling lord have mercy mm -mm -mm. And, and some of y'all don't get it right now but you will when you see this video tonight's episode is brought, brought to you also by unofficially by butterball turkey with all them trimmings wrapped in tinfoil mm -hmm. so brace yourself ladies and gentlemen here we go here we go oh blessed be the fruit Mm -hmm. And here we go live on the Cigar Vlogger Show. You know it's gonna get played again in case you missed it. Mm, my my my. Mm, mm, mm. All I kept hearing in my head was, "You make me feel so very real." <laughs> <laughs> Supporter said it looked like he had two cashew nuts wrapped in tinfoil. He said, You definitely know he ain't a top, he's definitely a power bottom because them little cashew nuts was wrapped in tinfoil. I said, Oh my, fix it, Lord Jesus. So we're gonna look at it one more time. So, in case you missed it, here we go. One more time for your mind. Here we go. Here we go. A turkey wrap. Pretty pussy pink lips, baby. <laughs> you did that on purpose. 
you did that on purpose. You went and got a glue gun and some glitter, and you went over there to the craft store. And I see where all them uh, rhinestones and stuff that you normally put on the crowns went. You bought you a pair of heels from uh, City Trends or uh, 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 what's the other one? Rainbow. You went and bought you a pair of boots and you and you bedazzled them for the girls. <laughs> Pretty pussy pink lips, baby. Exactly. That's what I was about to, I was about to say that. Uh, that was the Lord of the Rings wig that he had. All he thing he was missing was a bow and arrow. <laughs> That's all thing he was missing. That 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 troll or whatever elf or whatever he was with the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you bedazzled your disco boots, your stripper pole boots. You did that on purpose. You actually, you actually stood up in your house or in that store before you got home and said, I'm going to kill him with this. And then you went over there to Party City. You got that uh, Lord of the Rings wig and you bought you some, uh, went to fabric, uh, Joanne's fabric and cloth. And you bought that, uh, that, uh, that tinfoil material. And you said, I'm going to kill them with this. I'm going to kill them. And you put a cape on and you had them boots bedazzled, the bedazzled boots and them nut crushers on. And that nut crusher onesie made out of tinfoil. Mm -hmm. And uh, you thought that was sexy. Now, all you people that was in them comments when I looked at that video, that was, that was gassing them up and hyping them up. Shame on you. Because, uh, <laughs> shame on you uh, in a minute but see shame on you everybody that did that yes kill there's a Burger King crowd unofficial sponsor of tonight's show and uh mm -hmm. see you sitting there I bet you bought the wig you bought that material over at Joanne's Fabrics and you got them crafts over there at Michael's or the Hobby Lobby and you got some glue and that glue gun you were sitting there you like oh I'm gonna kill him with this you had the peep toe thing going and uh, had your little acorns up in the front screaming for bloody murder. As, as one of my supporters said, look like two cashews wrapped up in some tinfoil. Mm. And you had that Lord of the Rings wig on and you was rocking it with your black edges underneath or whatever that, you know, because you ain't got no hair. And uh, you thought that you did that on purpose. That's what I'm getting at. You didn't do that by accident. Yeah, he had on JLC 87. He had on the Nut Crusher 2000 outfit. Like he took a, a prison jumpsuit and spray painted it with some silver paint. Some metallic silver. You did that on purpose. Let me move this mic. You did that on purpose. Hmm. We thought the OnlyFans thing was a bit much. We thought the picnic table panties was much for a former Koji elder and preacher. But when you did this, 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 uh, I can't even, I'm trying to mind my words, but when you did this, 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 uh, uh, oh, hell, when you did this fuckery right here, um, uh, and Exactly. I know she mad as hell. Cause you know one of one of one people on the cell block that got internet access. That girl, look at your son. He out there living a good life. I hope you get paroled this year. Mm. Lord, I tell you, Lord, I tell you. Mm. Then also revival. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You were wearing them nut crusher three thousands. I didn't went up to, from two thousand three thousand. Lord have mercy. You was on some futuristic foolishness. And uh, yes, indeed. But oh, but oh, I mean, I ain't know whether you look like a baked potato, but then I settled on, you know, my, my, you know, I was cracking jokes with people. And they said, damn, he like Miss Piggy. And then when I saw that Miss Piggy, I said, there she is. There she is. 
Miss America. <laughs> Busting all out that tinfoil. You know when that little thing when you put a turkey in the oven and uh and when it's when it's ready, the little thing pop I go boop that now. Mm-hmm. You was on some intergalactic foolishness. I'm talking, I'm talking about a uh, space odyssey. Fix it cheap. Fix it. Anyway. Enough of that. So let's get down to business. Another thing came across my desk this week. Uh, I can't watch because I'm blocked. But uh, it seems that uh, two old friends and enemies are now friends again. And uh, I have theories as to why they're friends again. And we shall discuss them. So let me get my notes here. I type notes. I actually type some notes. So it seems that William McCray and Larry Reed have been reunited like Peaches and her. Reunited. Because he, William McCray even bust out singing. Reunited. And it feels so good. So I couldn't stomach to watch the whole video, so I fast forwarded because you know he takes him 45 years to get to the point of why he's shooting the video. Greetings, 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 and all that, and, and all this stuff. So I said, whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh so I got to the part where uh his partner in crime is new thing, my doodle, laying up in the bed, talking to men's is off the camera on his end. Oh, uh, I said, look at this foolishness right here. So I sat there. I couldn't watch it at night. Maybe people are like, down there, you watch this funny. I said, no, ain't nothing funny about this. Because it, it's a lot of history with me. And uh, ain't nothing funny about uh, ain't nothing funny about these two. Uh because uh, anybody can see that William McCray has been bought and paid for. It's a whole bunch of stuff I could have pulled out. But you've seen the videos that he's made about Larry Reed. And you've seen the stuff that I've seen him, I played that he made about Larry Reed. But I'm going to give you the backstory tonight. There was a time when I first discovered, I, see, out of all these people online, I've been clowning and doing whatever. William McCray is the only person I've ever met face to face. I met Big William McCray, not the, the version you see now, not 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 NK38 makeup and all that. I met him when he was big and uh in Atlanta. So Larry Reed, William McCray, hold on, y'all. And uh so y'all, y'all good. So Larry, William McCray, and Jad was supposed to do this panel uh, show in Atlanta. And Larry was setting it all up. And they were going to all do it. And Larry, the reason he was partnering with them, because Larry didn't have a big follow. He didn't at the time. But Jad and McCray did. And he needed their fan base to make the show successful. Now, I'm going to tell you something about William McCray. Before this Larry Reed stuff, William McCray was huge before his fall. He was huge. I'm talking about before this whole YouTube stuff, even before YouTube, William McCray had over 300 plus thousand people following him before YouTube. He had something called Obnoxious TV. He had his own website. He had his own app. People were going to his app to read his vlogs and watch his videos. He had a massive following. And he was massive because he was out here getting dirt on preachers and people that were enemies of Ebenard Jordan. A lot of people didn't know that. 
the job that Larry Reed has now, I'm talking about, oh, this is my mentor. William McCray had that job first. Jordan would give him money to go get dirt on preachers that he didn't like. So Jordan kept his hands clean while McCray did all the dirty work, kind of like Conscious TV with Larry Reed and kind of like with Larry Reed with even our Jordan. You following me? So, anywho, William McCray became a liability because of his lifestyle. You know, rumors about, you know, all the lawsuits he got into that he lost. Uh, the, the, the gay allegations, the, the pink dildo video leak, the scubala on the walls in the hotel room and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff, just too much. So Larry, who's an opportunity, saw himself, this was his time to move up. Threw William under the bus. So Jordan had, uh, how do I know this? Because the person, one of the people that was there when it happened, Jordan had him on speaker and was laughing at how William was on the phone crying, begging him not to be fired. And he took great joy and hearing William beg, and William lost everything. Money, his place to stay, he was pillar to post. And he has never recovered from that. So that was the bad blood right there. That was bad blood between him and Larry. That was William's bad blood. But because William likes this here. He was going to partner with Larry and Jive do the show. Well, Larry, after he got what he needed, he got rid of Jive and William. He said, well, my sponsors don't feel it would be a good idea for me to be doing this sh this event with two openly gay men. They find that hypocritical and ironic because he's gay. But we didn't know at the time. So we we had our uh we assume we we had an educated guest but we didn't have the vincent hill video at the time we didn't have the accusers at the time we didn't have none of that so that was the lie he was putting out william mccray just went on away he just went away he was like hey, wait. no jazz went at larry and then that's when J larry put conscious tv on jazz and they emasculated him bragged about shutting his channels down and taking his source of income and all of that. And he had no clap back. Y'all remember? Remember that? Yeah, he had a big pimple on his nose. I'm, 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 mm. Y'all need to start Googling some of these symptoms y'all see. Lesions on the face and... and what y'all call them pimples and all this other stuff. Y'all need to start Googling and researching where this stuff come from, people. So, anyway, I took some notes. So, during the video, something stuck out. Well, a lot of stuff, but this really stuck out. This really stuck out, ladies and gentlemen, to me. I don't know about y'all, but this stuck out to me. This stuck out to me. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Because this stuck out to me. And here it goes. No, um, I don't feel like, I feel like on the internet, when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story and people just believe what they want to. Like there was some rumor that I had HIV. Now that started in 19 and that I was- Which how they've been saying, they've been saying I was going to die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look, and that, but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog, the Conscious TV. God, we do the Build Your Immune System Health and Wellness Challenge. So we always get- Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who you, who you talking about? Your, your, I don't want to get into that. Your friend Conscious, he's- a, but but it don't. Uh oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's my conscience. Yeah. Okay now. I I can't be involved. But in I, okay. Hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm because a I'm hush. A Forgive friend. me. Forgive okay. me because I know I know that's your friend. Right. Conscious, Jesus. Conscious is my friend. 
friend is a great guy. So, and I, and he All that he drugged me, baby, he drugged me for Phil. I heard. I don't think he heard me. I'm going to play that two more times. And I want you to, since you heard what William McCray said, the next time that I'm playing it, which is now, I want you to look at Larry Reed's facial expressions when he says it. And here we go. No, um, I don't feel like, I feel like on the internet, when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story and people just believe what they want to. Like there was some rumor that I had HIV. Now that started in 19. And that I was Which they've been up. saying they've been saying I was gonna die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look, and that but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog of Conscious TV. God, we do the build your immune system health and wellness challenge. So we always get nice. Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who you, who you talking about? Your, your, I don't wanna get into that. Your friend conscious. He's a, but but uh -oh. oh yeah. Oh, it's about conscious? Yeah. Okay now. I, I can't be involved but in I'll, okay. hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm a okay. hush. I'm Forgive friend. me. Forgive okay. me because I know I know that's your friend. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Is, my friend is a great guy. So and I and he All that he drugged me, baby. He drugged me for Phil. I heard Ladies and gentlemen. Y'all know me and Marcellus as friends, right? I, I look at Marcellus like a brother. If anybody says something like that about my friend. I'm going to defend my friend right now. According to this video, he said, he's my friend. Why didn't you defend your friend? Why didn't you defend your friend? Huh? Because if you talk about Marcellus in my presence, I'm going to get you straight. Right then and there. You're not going to talk about my brother like that. unless there's some truth to it. Now, if you come out and you say, you say something about Marcellus and I know for a fact that it's true, and, and then you might get the look that you just saw in that video, like, oh, how did he find that out? Oh, wait, ooh, somebody been talking. Oh, oh shit, he know, uh oh, ooh, we in trouble now. That's the look I saw. Because if you say something about my friend and I know it's a lie, oh, I'm getting you straight right then. But if you if you if you come out in front of me and you say something that I know and I'm like shocked that you know too, oh shit. Mm. Hold on, Raw Ace. I'm about to play it again. Tell you this Bob Son Holy Ghost. Third time. Because see, you ain't gonna bad talk Marcellus in my presence. There's gonna be some problems. But if you tell the truth, ain't nothing I can say. Other than, hey, keep my boy name. Still, though, keep my boy name out your mouth. He's still my boy. You might be telling the truth, but hey, watch what you say. Not in front of me. But here we go. Third time. No, um, I don't feel like, I feel like on the internet, when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story. And people just believe what they want to. Like, there was some rumor that I had HIV. Now, that started in 19. And that I was. Which they've been that saying, I they've been saying I was going to die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look. And that, but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog of Conscious TV. God, we do the Build Your Immune System Health and Wellness Challenge. So we always get not. Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who you, who you talking about? Your, your, I don't want to get into that. Your friend Conscious. He's a. You but, can't uh, run. Oh, yeah. Oh, about no. Conscious. Yeah. Okay, now. now. I, I can't be involved but, in uh, okay. conversation. Hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm, I'm a hush. Conscious. Forgive friend. me. Forget okay. because I know I know that's your friend. Right. Thank Gosh you, Jesus. Gosh is, my friend is a great guy. So and I and he all that he drugged me, baby. He drugged me for Phil. I heard veneers, caps. So, ladies and gentlemen. See, if you uh if you call yourself my friend and you don't defend me when I'm not around, we ain't friends. But see, bought friends are not loyal friends. That's on my notes. 
Bought friends, I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. Bought friends are not loyal friends. If you're in here, please click like and share this video. And please subscribe to my channel. And if you feel led by the spirit, uh, my catch app right there under my name. So, yes, yes, indeed. All my information is right there. Won't you come? Because if you can pay for a lie, why can't you donate to somebody that's telling you the truth? I ain't saying it, but mm-hmm. Oh, oh, damn, that was very telling. I thought I was the only one, but I mm, my spider sense kicked in. Spider sense kicked in. And see, you best believe after that little thing leaked onto the World Wide Webs, it was a three-way call offline. And I bet you it was a whole bunch of yelling and cussing. Because, see, as you know, William McCray do not like CTV. CTV do not like him. And, see, that's what the master manipulator does. He knows everybody, in order to get them to be loyal to him and be dependent on him, he pits them against each other. They rely on him for their financial support, their bills being paid, their food in their belly, clothes on their back cars that they drive so he pits them against each other like Shamako and Kendall they don't like each other but they both rely on the same source and uh, let me go on here and work down my notes a little bit there were some other things in the video that I want to address uh, Larry Reed said that I put his mother's address on the internet that was false I have never done such a thing that's a lie. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Oh, that interview uh, um, was on Facebook. William McCray, they did on Facebook. So, but here's the thing. William McCray, because of prior lawsuits and judgments against him, he's not supposed to be on social media at all. He's banned from social media. Now, why he's still doing it, is anybody's guess. He's banned from social media. He has four outstanding warrants, two in the state of Georgia, in the city of Atlanta, for traffic violations, two in Virginia, because a preacher sued him and, and pressed charges against him for stalking and harassment. So he has two warrants in, in not Charlottesville, Virginia, Chesterfield, Virginia, two warrants up there, and two warrants in Atlanta. He got four outstanding warrants. He's not supposed to be able to fly, but he flies all over the all over the place, being rude to people in the airport. He's not, he should be on the TSA do not fly list. Somebody needs to be led by the spirit to uh, call and report that. He's not supposed to be able to fly because soon they run his information. He got warrants. He's supposed to go to jail right there in the airport. Next time he hop on a plane with all his wigs and sitting in that wheelchair being rude to people because he want a chicken sandwich at 8 o'clock at night, 8.45 at night, he's supposed to go to jail. They're supposed to roll his butt right on down to Clayton County Jail. Yeah, because he has warrants. He's banned from social media. He shouldn't be on any platform anywhere. Anywhere. He's supposed to be in jail. Because he got four warrants. He's banned from social media. But he out here, they didn't reunite it, and it feels so good. But back to uh, Larry Reed. Larry Reed, I have never put your mother's address, your father, your mother and father's address on the internet. I never have, and I never will. Unlike you, in fact, I have never even said your parents' name on a, on a show. But you said my parents' name on the show when they were still living. You did that because you thought that was going to scare me. You said, Clary, you, well, I would hate for somebody to have to contact Clary and Eugene. But what you didn't know, Clary and Eugene ain't got empty hands. They didn't have empty hands if you catch my drill, and neither did my brother. So you called or you rolled up down there, you got your feelings hurt. So, oh, that IT guy, he's back in. There's another, that's a whole other show. He sent the whole family back, including the dog. 
when that guy wouldn't do what Larry said. So I never put your parents' address on the internet. That's a lie. The next lie you implied, uh, you said that I put your, the address to your kid's school on the internet. I didn't even know you existed before September of 2019. By that time, your children were being homeschooled by Kendall Peacock. The person that put your address in from, and all your information on the internet was Edward Long, Bishop Long's son. And he did it on your show when he cussed you out. He put your address on the internet when y'all got into it. I didn't do that. So stop lying on me about that. I've never put your children's information on the internet. They'll put their address um, for their school because they wasn't in school. They were homeschooled by the time I found out who you were in September of 2019. They were already being homeschooled. So, but you'll get your people over there to believe that lie. But everybody else that's in the free thinking world know you lying because I didn't do that. But I felt the need to address that because you basically accused me of putting minors in harm's way. I'm not like you. I don't harm minors, sir. I don't harm minors. I'm not like you. Because you, that, that, you accuse, that's a crime. You accuse me of committing a crime against children. Mm, ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. See, I have never done anything to your children other than feel sorry for them because you're their father. And it's not their fault. They didn't ask to be here. You brought them here under false pretenses because you needed a beard and you needed some covering. So anyway, uh, you also said that I um, went to your house. I have never set foot on any of your properties and I haven't even been to the one right now because you like to brag that you live in Cardi B's house that you rent in Cardi B's house out. I have never done that. Nor have I been to the one where uh, Chamaco lives right now, the one that uh, all the court documents got served to. I've never been there. I did go in front of the one that you out here, oh, he's in my yard. I've never set foot. I've never crossed the sidewalk. The sidewalk is public property. I've never broken the law. If I had broken the law, I would have been charged with criminal trespass. And since I wasn't cross charged with criminal trespass, you need to stop telling that lie. I have never set foot on any of your properties. I've never even been um, within a mile of you. We've never been in the same. We have never met each other. The only time we've ever talked was during our court situation when I was cross-examining you and you mysteriously lost connection and, and got logged off the court proceeding. That's the only time I've ever even talked to you face-to-face -face. On, on a screen just like this, on a Zoom. So I've never been to your property. I drove to it. And you know how I found out how to get to your house? William McCray, your new reunited friend, because he took pictures in front of the gate to your community that you were living in at that time. He told me how to get there because he had been there a week or two before I got there because I flew into Atlanta, picked up my rental car and drove to my parents' house because my dad was sick. He was the one who told me how to get there. Bet you didn't ask him that. No, nah, that don't fit the narrative. Oh, this this vlogger, he came to my house. If I was going to do anything <clears throat> underhanded or illegal, I would have never came in the middle of the day in broad daylight. I'd have waited till the sun went down on his night. I came in the middle of the day, groundskeeper of the property across the street from you, me and that white guy talked for 15 minutes. He said, oh, you coming to see the gay couple, gay people that live right there, the gay black people? I, I said, something like that. And we started talking. We talked for 15 minutes out in, out in the middle of the street. If I was up to something, I would have never let anybody see me. It would have been jet black night. Nobody would have seen me. And whatever I planned to do, which was nothing, would have been done at night. I came out there in the day just to get a look. And then the video that you don't ever let anybody see, I said, and I said, you need to stop lying on me because I said, if I was the person that you claim I was, I would have done something to you, but I'm not that person. That's the video I released and you never played that. Oh, he came to my house. Okay, if I came to your house and I was on your property, why didn't you issue 
Why didn't you file charges? Why? Because it never happened. But you told all the people that will listen to your lie and give you money that that's what I did to you. Never did that. Never happened. There's no arrest warrant for me anywhere. Because I didn't break the law. I'm not like you. I'm not like William McCray. I can walk into a courtroom. Unlike William McCray, he go into anybody's courthouse. Like when he was going down and calling himself covering uh, some court trial, he was supposed to have been arrested on site. He has warrants. He can't go inside of a courtroom. He can't go inside of a police station. He can't get fingerprinted for no jobs because he has warrants. He has to rely on these cash apps and donations and so he can buy them $5 chicken boxes, pay for a hotel room. Well, now that he's on your payroll, he probably going to get an apartment any day now, which is, you know, par for the course. So, but yeah, stop that. I never came to your house. I went buy it. And then you got that U-Haul and you like, oh, Lord, I got to go. Again. Come on, Kendall, put that couch in there. Oh, 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 oh. You bouncing in that U-Haul because you average a move every seven months on average. You never stay anywhere long. And that's a documented fact. I did a show about that, how many times you've moved. So, onward. Um, okay, I already said. See, what I find odd is you two people are together. And you attack the main thing that you are. You attack homosexual men, openly gay men, who are comfortable in their own skin. William McCray is vehement, that so-and-so. I'm not even going to say the term to you because YouTube has rules. Very homophobic. And he just, no straight man wears acrylic nail. No straight man uh, dresses and acts like him. Uh, dead people in the cemetery can see that both of you are gay men. It, it, it's, it's not rocket science. Both of you are closeted gay men. And you attack people that are comfortable in their own skin because you're jealous of them. You're gay. Extra crispy. Extra crispy gay. Look up the word gay in a dictionary and two of y'all be like this. Gay. Super duper. Bells and whistles gay. Just, just gay as you can be. You got them long fingernails like you daddy Grace. You gay. You you talk about people that have had women that have had children out of uh, wedlock. You call the women whores. You call the kids bastards. Uh, everything that you were. I think I didn't. I forgot about your background. Your mother was a teenage mother who had you by a married man. So when you talk about calling these kids bastards and the women whore, you're talking about yourself. Talking about yourself. Mm -hmm. you talking about yourself, playboy. So I don't know where all this hatred comes from, but y'all need to seek therapy about that. Because both of y'all open. I mean, y'all ain't got no closet. Y'all got a plexiglass that everybody see into your closet. You don't have no door. You got plexiglass up there. Thin plexiglass at that. Because y'all is extra crispy gay. So you attack these church people this gay. Because you know that's a death sentence in the black church. They forgive you for everything but being gay. That's a, that's a, a career killer. How are you going to talk about somebody? Oh, and, and this Patreon where you got a layer, got all this porn with these, these, these gospel artists and these preachers having sex. But uh, yeah, it, it, your stuff coming out soon. It's videos of you. 
It's coming out soon. The videos of you. It's gonna come out real soon. And uh, but yeah, moving on. Cause Larry said he's gonna make a, a a a remake of Niggas Ain't On My Level video. Good. Go for it. Gotta give me something to make fun of and remix myself. Yep. Mm -hmm. So all this talk, but I will make sure they get the record straight. I never put your parents' information on the internet. I've never done anything towards your children, ever. Don't accuse me of committing a crime against children, ever. Because I've never committed a crime against children. That was truthful. I was accused of it one time, but I cleared my name. So unlike, mm, let me stop. That's another story. <clears throat> See, William McCray, you seem to have forgotten. Y'all off friends again. You seem to have forgotten that CTV set you up to have court documents served on you in a grocery store in the fruit and produce section. And he recorded it live and was pop on a live podcast of you being served papers in a, in a grocery store. And he did it for your newfound friend. Because y'all, it fell out. Didn't know that, did you? Now, one of the few times I've talked to Conscious TV on the phone when we was still cordial, because I, I didn't like you then. Still don't. But uh, I let bygones be bygones, but I don't like you because you're messy. You're a messy queen. I don't like that. I don't like bullies. That's why I don't like the two of you. But I strongly suggest the two of you never bother me because I see to it that you getting put in handcuffs and <laughs> you better not mess with me because you don't because uh -uh. uh -uh. records have a way of showing up in, in places mm -hmm. yep it was right there in Kroger in the grocery store you got served court papers but you failed to forget now y'all friends but how y'all how you and him going to be friends when he's friends with your enemy and your enemy is friends with him, and y'all gonna come to heads. I, you, you and Larry won't be friends by Memorial Day. Watch what I tell you, and I'm gonna explain why. Because as I move down the list, you may, Larry, you may bail threat. On the, on the little interview, the little podcast with McCray, you said you felt like uh, getting a white van with no seats in the back and you and your people just snatching somebody up and beating the hell out of them and dumping them off somewhere, somewhere, someplace else. <clears throat> Let me address that. If you have a dream of renting anything, renting an outhouse, and thinking you're gonna do something to me, snatch me up. If you even think about trying to snatch me up off any street anywhere, this is a double O buckshot 12 gauge, holds six buckshots in it. The equivalent of six nine millimeter bullets flying out at you. And this ain't what you want. Because if any white van pull up, it won't be for me. It'll be the, the county coroner coming to pick up you and your crew if you try to snatch me up off the street. Because I ain't never empty hand. I sleep with my hands full. Just so you know. That's not a threat. That's just letting you know. Ohio is very different from Georgia. This is an open carry state. Very Second Amendment friendly state. Red state. 
govern yourself accordingly. See, let me explain something to you. Don't threaten nobody that ain't scared. Because unless you and your crew can run faster than 3,162 feet per second, this ain't what you want. Google what travels at 3,162 feet per second. Google that. Say, what travels at 3,162 feet per second? That's as quick as you can blink your eye. Google that. I got about 30, 30 of them. 30, 31. Figure that out. Uh, Matrilla York. It's a it's a short story, but I give you Cliff No Person because you knew. Um, one of my friends years ago, before I even thought about doing any of this, said, Hey, you have to check out this vlog. He's a messy queen, but he's funny. Da 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 name Larry. So I started looking, watch, I said, okay, he's he's comical in an offbeat kind of way. He got a, you know, interesting. So anyway, he, he took a, a, a hush, some hush money from, from my frat brother, who's a preacher named E. Dewey Smith. Um, $10,000 to shut up and not talk because he had a baby out of wedlock. And in the non-disclosure agreement that I posted online, it said if either side breached the agreement, they owed the other person $250,000. So he decided to be slick and have CTV talking about the story. And he stopped talking about it, but he had CTV doing it. So he sued Larry for the $250,000 plus the 10. So he owed Larry. Larry owed him $260,000. He got a default judgment because he had a shitty lawyer, Olga, who he blamed for him losing the lawsuit. And uh, so I asked him privately offline. I inboxed him. I said, hey. Is it true that you took a bribe for $10,000? Because I got a copy of the document. Got Dr. E. Dewey Smith and they got Mr. Larry Reed on it. And it's notarized. So I asked him, he said, who do you think you are to ask me anything? I said, okay, you're right. You don't owe me no explanation. And I left it at that. I was cool. I didn't care. Because you like it, I love it. But then the next day, he blows all my information up, put it on the screen, on the thumbnail, and was clowning me for his whole show. Look at this person. Da, 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 da. I said, oh, so this how you want to play me? Okay, I got time. So I started investigating everything about him, his tax, uh, his his financial dealings, his, his nonprofit. I started investigating everything. That's how I came across those three accusers. Um, they were sent, they approached me about telling their story on my show. And that's how it all started five years ago. And here we are. And ever since then, I've been shedding nothing but light on them cockroaches. And when the light come on, they scatter. But I, they, they try to attack me with lies, and I attack them with truth. So that's what happened. But anyway, there was another threat made uh, that legal action is going to be taken. Let me just address that. And I'm going to be very, uh, you know, I've been having fun and cutting up. Let me be very serious. I said this before, I'm going to say this one more time. That is your legal right, sir, to sue or take legal action if you feel you've been wrong. But if someone's telling the truth on you, it's just the truth. And you have to take that L like a good soldier. But here's the thing. If you take anybody, and the discussion has been had, if you take anybody to court, just know two things going to come in that courtroom with them. That audio of you admitting to Vincent Terrell Hill that you arranged the marriage between your cousin Latrice and Lester Pelter, the soccer player who, who said he was your lover for a year. You on, in your own voice, admitted that you arranged the marriage. You gave Lee, uh, Latrice money to marry Lester so he could stay in the country. And as such, you committed a felony, sir. That's one thing. So let me refresh your memory about that. Let me refresh your memory about that crime, sir. See, um, hmm, hold on. 
this right here. No, I took it out. But anyway, that marriage license, that marriage license, sir, that marriage license between your cousin and Lester is going to come into court. The audio of you admitting that you arranged a marriage between Lester and your cousin is coming into court. That's one thing. And just to refresh your memory, That's what's going to happen to you. You're going to be reported to ICE. Your cousin going to be reported to ICE. Lester's going to be reported to ICE. Lester's probably, he don't want to stay in the United States anyway. So the only thing they're going to do is deport him. He don't want to stay here. No way. He wants to leave. So the two of you are going to get arrested. The two of you are going to get arrested. And this is the penalty. So you think I'm lying. Five years imprisonment and a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine for knowingly entering into a marriage for the purpose of evading any provision of the immigration law under Section Eight of the U.S. Constitution. Look that for yourself. I'm gonna say that again. You facing so you sue somebody in civil court if you want to. You're gonna be in criminal court. You're not gonna be facing just uh, a civil matter. You're facing a criminal matter. Five years in prison. Federal time. That means you're going to do the whole five years. You ain't going to do part of it. You're going to be gone for five years, and you're going to pay a quarter of a million dollars in cash. And if you don't have that quarter million dollars, they're going to seize your asset. You go right ahead. and You sue somebody. That's what you're going to get. If you send a court document to anybody's house, that's what's waiting on you. You're going to be reported to ICE. And you're going to get arrested and you're going to be facing five years in prison and a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine and then your cousin going to get arrested she's going to face five years in prison and a two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine now you go out here and windmill and talking tough to your supporters and getting them think you you big bad larry they're not going to do a day of that five years in prison for you not one day they ain't going to put no money on your book CTV is going to act like you don't exist no more because you ain't paying them because you're going to be locked down. All your bought friends are going to be gone and you're going to be on your own in that jail cell. Five years fed time. And with the allegation on you that, you know, you mentioned that people say I got HIV. And if that happens to be true, you're going to be locked down in a med unit in a federal prison. That means you're going to be in a cell by yourself. You're not even going to have a cellmate. You're going to be locked down. 23 out of 24 by yourself for five years, 60 months to the day, no early release. And then the rest of your life, you're going to be a convicted felon. And a lot of your rights that you think you enjoy now, you're not going to have no more. If you think I'm lying, you better ask somebody that's, that's a convicted felon what their life is like. And it ain't pleasant. Watch what I tell you now. Now, if you go out here and take somebody to court, ICE going to be called, and you're going to face five years in prison, $250,000 fine. And then that's in court. But you're going to get arrested. Then you're going to have to bond out, then go to court. And if you get convicted, which you will, because they got audio of you admitting that you committed the crime. You are on audio admitting that you committed this felony. So if you go to court with anybody, there's audio proof of you admitting to the felony. It's an open and shut case. You're going to go to federal prison for five years. Period. That's the other side. Now, that's the criminal side. You take somebody to court, they're going to subpoena your medical records. Everything you didn't try to hide. Everything you didn't try to hide. Oops. Oops. Oh well. My my my. So, but see, everything that you didn't try to hide, you get locked up in court. 
Is this the one? Yes, it is. Everything you try to hide about your medical history is going to become public record. Everything you tried to hide. Thank you, official King Payne. Everything that you tried to hide, you're going to have to explain these lesions around your chest and arms and your and on your forehead and temple and all in your scalp. All these lesions that you've been hiding with Pancake 38 med med uh, makeup. You're going to have to explain the craters and the lesion. You're going to have to explain that in open court. Because, see, anybody that you sue, they're going to have you in open court. And they're going to say, Mr. Reed. Oh, yeah, I got that audio, Sweet Pea, uh, when, when William McCray was crying, when that lawyer for somebody that was suing him, he was begging, and he, William McCray was crying. You forgot about that. Because guess who? was playing that jazz ctv all of them was playing it but anyway they're gonna have you on the witness stand uh later and they're gonna say uh mr reed are you hiv positive do you have any stds like herpes or something and if you say no Your Honor, I like to enter in the evidence. Da, da 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 da. The medical records from there was subpoenaed from Raleigh, North Carolina. Ooh. His medical records from Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. Then it's gonna go. You're gonna get charged with perjury, lying on oath. I'm just saying, if that's the case, because the rumors out there that you are. According to your former lover, he said he saw your HIV medicine when he was at your house because he knows what it looks like. And he said he he said it on Tasha Kay's show. I didn't. He did. He said he saw your HIV medicine. So you're going to a court. It is a, that burden of proof is on you once they ask you, are you HIV positive? Do you have herpes? And you and you lie on the oath. You get charged with perjury. Each count of lying on the oath for perjury, you're in jail, $5,000 fine. Remember that now. So, like I said, you are free to go into court. Free country. You can sue, you can sue a ham sandwich if you want to, but the person that you're suing has a right to defend themselves with a vigorous defense. And a part of that vigorous defense is turning you into immigration for committing a felony, which is a crime, a criminal act, and they're going to subpoena your medical records and they're going to have it in open court. So your medical history is going to be public record forever. Then they're going to play Vincent Hill's interview where he admitted to being your lover for 13 years. Not 13 days, not 13 weeks, not 13 months, 13 years. What's 13 times 12 real quick in my head? I can't think of it. But multiply, somebody multiply 13 times 12 and put it in chat. Tell me what that is. Mm -mm. In 52 weeks in a year, I'll tell you that. 52 weeks in a year, multiply 52 times 13 and tell me what that is. 52 times 13 and put it in the chat. We're on the sum. Okay. On the low end, 13 times 12 is 156. But what's what's 52 times 13? Welcome, chosen one. Uh 52 times 13. Okay. So anywhere between 156 times and 676 times. Might be more than that. He said for 13 years, y'all were in a sexually active relationship. So if y'all just had sex once a month for 13 years, you had sex 156 times. And if you had sex once a week, you had sex 676 times. But if you was having sex multiple times during that week, it goes into the thousand. You get me? So your medical record is going to come into play. The three accusers are going to come into play. And the video 
of Vincent Terrell Hill admitting that he was your lover while you were married, Reverend, gonna come into play. So all the stuff you tried to hide, all the stuff that you normally did to other people, is now gonna be done to you, but it's gonna be done to you in a court of law and it's gonna be public record forever. Just saying, do what you do. Do what you do though. But you let you let CTV put a battery in your back. Yeah. Oh, we going to court. We doing this. We doing that. Tell you something. You've been his trick for many, many years. Because he, he got a big mouth. Yeah, I'm dealing with this preacher in Atlanta. You know, he pays my bills and gives me money from time to time. Da, da, da. That's the text messages that he's putting out. Mm. Better keep your hoes happy. Because if they get mad with you, they're going to tell on you. Now, Vincent Hill was one of the few people over there that had a conscience. He realized what he was doing wrong. He didn't hide none of it. He said, I was complicit in this. Uh, we traveled all over the world. We ate the best food, spent money shopping, doing everything. And we did it on the dime of the church. Those donations that people sent. He admitted he enjoyed all the trappings and all the money. He admitted his part in it. And he also admitted to being your lover for 13 years. And then you try to label him, oh, he's just angry because he's no longer with us. No, he admitted everything he did. He didn't hide nothing. He didn't try to clean it up, make himself look innocent. He said, I was wrong too. He admitted what he did, but he also told on you. And he told on everybody. He named everybody's name. Mm -hmm. uh, for the 500 people that are here with me, please click like if you haven't done so on this video already. Boost them numbers up for me, baby. Click like. Please click like and share the video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please subscribe. Thank you. And if you feel led, bless this cat cat right here, you know. Thank you. I appreciate you. I really do. I swear I do. I swear I do. I swear I do. I really, really do. Thank you. I thank you. I thank you all. Thank you for the cash outs. I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. I really, really do. But yeah, so here's what I want you to think about, uh, William. I want y'all to think, I want all the people in the bush people in the back. I want y'all to think about this. Nobody, Larry Reed, you, I know you listen. Nobody has ever accused you of doing anything that wasn't a male. All your accusers are males. All the people that came out and said they were your lovers were males. No woman nowhere has ever accused you of anything sexual. All your sexual allegations come from males. No woman has ever accused you of anything sexual. No sexual harassment, no sexual assaults, no sexual violations, no rapes, nothing. No getting them pregnant, making them have abortion. Look, there's no public accusation of, from a woman in the five years that I've been dealing with you. All your accusations come from males. <laughs> no woman, no cry. All your accusations come from males. All of your inner circle are either gay men out the closet, in the closet, or bisexual men on the down low. All your inner circle. You don't have any women in your inner circle other than your cousin, and she's a lesbian. Exactly, Sean talks. Uh, Sean talks. If you give someone a donation to their ministry, it is supposed to be for the ministry, not for people to go to Dubai, not for people to go to Dominican Republic or to go to Mexico or to go buy luxury cars and houses and jewelry and then brag about their jewelry. Um, uh, it's supposed to be for the ministry, especially if that ministry is a nonprofit. Nonprofit funds are earmarked funds. 
you have to spend the money on what you list in your nonprofit description of what it's for. If you have a nonprofit that's for the homeless, that money has to be spent on the homeless. Like, for example, Jives. Jives and his mother had a summer lunch program. The funds that they received were supposed to go to feed hungry, low-income children, children from low-income families in Florida and in Tennessee, the two places where they were. They didn't use that. Jive's mama caught a case in Florida, went to jail, got out, then went and did the same thing in Tennessee with the help of her son who snitched on her in court. They were buying fur coats, luxury cars, taking trips, living lavish. And the kids was hungry. You have to spend federal funds and, ch and church donations on what it's earmarked for. Period. And if you have a nonprofit and you fail and somebody asks you for, for a copy of your Form 990, I'm going to keep saying that over and over until somebody gets it in their head. A Form 990 must be supplied upon request by anybody that runs a nonprofit. So if I run a nonprofit, you say, Daryl, let me see your 990. I have to either print you out a copy, email it, fax it, whatever. I have to send that to you. I'm required by law to do that or I lose my nonprofit status. Thank you. There it is. There it is. And that'll get the feds to kick your door in at five in the morning. Yes. That's what it'll do. That's it right there. So it would behoove you to stay out of the courtroom and, and stop threatening to sue people because people are almost halfway hoping that you'll get stupid and try to take them to court because they face a civil, a civil matter. You face a civil and criminal. And the same people like you said, well, I ain't gonna say because I don't have no evidence of that, but the grave you dig for other people, you're going to fall into. And you ain't built for jail. You can't handle jail. You're too soft. You wouldn't last a week. Mm -mm. But anyway, it's my last little point here. And then I'm going to cut up on um, jabs some more because that, that was funny. Because uh, I'm going to put that turkey leg back up there. Because, see, I'm going to get my legs back. Because you went on Tasha K and you disrespected me. You badly built so-and-so. During that uh, podcast, William invited himself. Oh, and Larry said, well, you know, I got a sound studio over at my house. And I do my show. Really? Well, I could just come over there and cut up, couldn't I? He invited, I'll just come over there and do my show over there. And I just cut up real good. He invited himself over to Larry House. Now, you know, CTV ain't having that. He'll throw a brick through all them ones. You up, you up in the house with his betrothed making podcasts. Is that what they call it in the homosexual underworld? And you in there making shows and cutting up. He'll drive across that state line. He'll have a whole trunk full of bricks. He'll throw a brick through everyone in that house. So, um, I wouldn't do that, William, if I were you. So that boy didn't gain a lot of weight. You've lost weight. He didn't gain weight. He, he's as big as Porky Pig. Uh, uh, it's ironic. I find it ironic. It's funny, though. Everybody used to make fun of William and Andrew Caldwell. Jazz used to make fun of Andrew Caldwell. He used to call William McCray horse face. He used to call... Uh, Caldwell Blobfish. He had t-shirts and everything made up. Now, Jazz is wide as this screen, and, and Caldwell is, is smaller because he had plastic surgery, lost weight and everything, had weight loss surgery. So he's smaller, still kind of look, you know, he's still pudgy, but he's not big. And Jazz is wide. I don't think Jazz needs an apple in his mouth and, and baste him with a turkey baster. So, Mm 
So, yeah. I agree. So, um, what was I? You invite yourself over to that house. CTV is very jealous. Because for those of you, you don't remember because you weren't, weren't around. Over here, we had to raise money one time for CTV's former fiance to get him in a hotel, safe to get him safely away from CTV. Because CTV held him basically hostage. Broke his phone, threw his clothes on the yard, poured bleach on him, was threatening him. He had just got out of prison, so he didn't want no, no smoke because he didn't want to go back to prison. We raised money to put this boy up in a hotel. The lady that put help and put him in the hotel, she's no longer friends with us, but she was at the time because she lived right there. She got the boy in the hotel. We gave her the money to go buy a one-way ticket so he could fly back home to where he's from. And CTV hopped in his car, was going to try to confront him at the airport because he thought he was going to the airport to fly out that night. CTV ran out to the airport looking for him, but we had hid him away in a hotel. He flew out the next morning and he left. That's how, the, and then he was rocking back and forth three hours and 38 minutes with a red flashlight, screaming and hollering, high as a kite, angry. And Larry chimed in. The only thing made him log off that show uh, was Larry cashed out him some money. He was he had told the boy he was going to drink bleach and kill himself and all that kind of spooling. Trying to just mess his boy's head up. We got that boy back home and he didn't look back. Played the audio, got it called Hanging with Mr. Cooper because a guy, a young man was named Cooper. So I did the whole hang on Miss Cooper uh, thing for the thumbnail. Got all the audio of CTV threatening this boy, her, uh, trying to be violent with this boy, everything. He told about CTV's drug use and all that, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, Larry got uh, Larry got that black eyeliner underneath here. He got it tattooed on his eye. But this boy is demented. He not gonna have. He don't like you. And when he find out you in that house, oh, Larry gonna have to keep his hoe happy. Larry gonna have to spend a lot of money. He find out you laid up in there with your acrylic nails and your lace front wig, with your poodle hair. He gonna have a whole hissy fit. Y'all might be out there windmilling like this in the front yard. He probably be sitting in the, in the lawn here laughing because he like that. He like that attention. He likes seeing y'all fight over him. But. It would behoove you, big word, stay at that man's house. You want to record something, go down there to uh, Atlanta Metropolitan College or somewhere and use their equipment for a minimal fee and let the students record you doing your show. Don't go over there. Don't go over there. But see, that boy find out you in that house. He going to come across the state line. It's going to be a big scene. And it, it, this ain't that ain't what you want. So see, he can't compete with you. You're right there in Atlanta with Larry, and he knows that. And he already gonna be jealous. He don't like the fact that you, the two of you, are now on speaking terms again. He's gonna do everything in his power to put a wedge between y'all. But so that's why I say the two of y'all won't even be friends anymore by Memorial Day. Y'all gonna fall out again because he's gonna see to it that y'all fall out. He's gonna come up with something to make y'all fall out again. Because he don't like you. And you definitely don't like him after you said this right here. And this is your word. So I know that y'all have heated discussion about this. But this is what you said. And I'm going to play it again while I read the comment. And then I'm going to have fun with Jad. No, um, I don't feel like. I feel like on the internet, when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story. And people just believe what they want to. Like there was some rumor that I had HIV. Now that started in 19. And that I was Which they've been up. saying they've been saying I was gonna die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look, and that but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog of Conscious TV. God, we do the build your immune system health and wellness challenge. So we always get not. Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who are you talking about? Your, your, I won't get into that. Your friend conscious. He's a, but but don't, uh oh oh yeah. Oh, you're conscious? Yeah. Okay now. I, I can't be involved but in I'll, conversation. Okay. Hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm a okay. hush. I'm Forgive friend. me. Forgive okay. me because I know I know that's your friend. Right. Thank you, Jesus. Is, my friend is a great guy. So, and I, and he oh, does. He drugged me. Baby, he drugged me for Phil. I heard.
So when you said that, that wasn't me saying that. You said that about your new friends. Friend, lover, PR person, windmiller, everything in between them. And them eyes of Larry popped as big as this microphone. He was like, oh God, he know. That was the look I, I'm making an educated guess on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, you said that about him. So that let me know you you threw the first punch. Cause he's gonna clap back. You you well, and let Larry pay him a whole bunch of money to let it go. Oh, he's gonna get his lick back from you. He's gonna find something. Cause you you said he got the package. You ain't stutter, you ain't flinch. You said it clearly, and you leaned into the screen when you said, oh, he got it. You said it emphatically. Mm -hmm. You said that, and, and that boy Puss in Boots going to get, parking lot fat going to get his lick back, and I'm, I'm going to be sitting back like this here, like, ooh. Cat fight. The girls is over there fighting. Tito, bring me a tissue. <laughs> Come down, I tickle myself. That video uh was this week, but uh this was last week. I've been sitting on this. Oh Lord. Here we go. This is funny. Cat fight. Here we go. Now, this is funny. Now, this is funny. I don't care. I don't care. I, just for just for shits and giggles. I told y'all, the more y'all talk on this here internet, the bigger fool y'all make it, y'all said. But here we go. Glory to God, some of your faces are going to be in the newspaper. Huh? Some of your faces are going to be on TV. Huh? Showing the before and the after picture. Huh? Glory to God, because God... <laughs> oh, but this is what this is what tonight's uh this section of the show is brought to you by Honey Baked Ham Sliced Turkey. Marcel, you might want to come on, man. I'm going to shoot you the lick. Hey, <laughs> Sneaker Green. Glad you back, baby. Don't be no stranger. We praying for you. Marcel, I'm going to shoot you this lick because I need you to come on in here cut up with me for a minute, brother. Just for a minute. Marcellus, I'm going to email you the link. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
them thighs, fried turkey legs. Y'all gonna see that again. Why the hell not? It's Friday. What the hell? One more time for the cripple chill. One more time for the cripple chill, grand. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And Jack. It's raining me in. Hallelujah. Uh oh, 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 go ahead. Well, I ain't said nothing. I'm waiting for you to do whatever you was going to do. You know what we got to sing together. Hold on. We've been singing offline. You know what we got to do. Damn what, it. The, what the hell are we sing? First you of all, I got to go back to. Did you say that that man was betrothed to Larry? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm still stuck on. You said the man was betrothed to him. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody else was paying any attention. But that part right there almost made me slide out of my chair. You said the man was betrothed to Larry. That is hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious every day of the week, bro. Yeah, his betrothed. Good. That is that is funny. I was driving down the stairs. What word can I use? I patrol just came to my, my my mind. Yeah, okay, Mr. Churchman. You know more than you know more than you let on, but that's hilarious. That was hilarious. <laughs> and then hey. Hey, my look, and then when I said when we was offline, I said, and I'm sorry, y'all just gotta ask yourself some questions around here. What kind of what kind of you know, because I learned these terms over the last couple of years. Uh -huh. this, 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 this behavior does not seem like male masculine energy. I don't know how anybody would consider you to be a top and you running around in, in high heel shoes and wrapped in aluminum foil. I'm just not understanding how anybody's going to consider you to be, uh, uh, you know, what they call a top when you running around here with this kind of this kind of spinning top. Stuff. A spinning top. And wait a minute, did he have Daenerys from Game of Thrones wig on? Uh, from Daenerys Targaryen, that Targaryen wig on from the Game of Thrones. I said, well, what the devil? And, you know, just messed it up for me because I love Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is one of my favorite programs. I'm like in House of Dragon. You know, I've been I've been deep into my House of Dragon. I'm waiting for the new season for all that to start. Lord Jesus, he said but, Targaryen, the House. Of but Dragon. amen. But she, but he had on that wig. <laughs> that was Lord, the part, Lord. sir. Lord. It was the wig for me. Lord Jesus. Now you know we were supposed to do our Sylvester song. You know we were supposed to be singing. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, no, nah, we weren't gonna sing that. Who in the hell said we was gonna get on live and do that shit? Not me. Oh, <laughs> Not me, nigga. Oh no. Oh I gotta, no. I gotta sing it by myself. Oh uh, yeah, that's on you. I'll come in on the harmony. That wasn't <laughs> oh, <laughs> so very real. <laughs> Shut up, Daryl. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh Lord. Uh, oh man. Lord have mercy. The, co the, the conversations we have offline, those are the conversations that should be on the internet. But yeah. we can't but we can't put them on the internet. Let me tell y'all something. We'd that is banned. hilarious. We'd be banned for life. <laughs> that is hilarious. I don't care what nobody say. That's funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. But I, I just want I want everybody to be thinking like this. Y'all pay attention because y'all know I pay attention to all this stuff. Listen to me. Everybody running around here talking about their money's not being affected. Think about this. Why would somebody come back to William McCray after they done messed over William McCray? What would be their motivation for coming back to William and trying to patch up that relationship with William? And just watch. And just watch what's going on. Yeah. People are... Vincent Terrell Hill is the reason. Yeah, but I'm just saying, y'all think about this. This man going around all these bloggers you know, and he's trying to repack these, you know, these relationships that he done screwed up. But there is a reason for that because people think they're being strategic, but y'all have to learn how to watch and pray and realize what's going on with these people. Uh, you know, you can make as many alliances as you want to, but it is never going to work. 
because you've been found out. And this thing is going to get far. It's going to go further. It's going to get wider. And people are really going to start to see you for who you are. Now, to the women over there that's still supporting you mm. and that's paying, giving you all of this money and all of this stupidness, just understand, yo, you guys going to have to give an account for your mess too. No, but nobody's going to be able to escape and get away with what they're getting away with. Y'all gonna have to give an account for, for funding this dysfunction. And how you running around here speaking in tongue? The whole time he was running around here to my run down down the down down the down down the root of the tooty the tooty. He was in a whole sexual relationship with a man. Man. Mm, let that marinate. Yeah, come on. Run down dung 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 dung. What dung was he talking about? Was that the dung that was on the tip of his peen? Because y'all remember, he always used to be talking about uh, that you should have a little poop on your peen. Uh, you, you, uh, you remember that there on yes, the back sir, of the day? Yes, you remember sir. he said that thing about poop on the peen? Yeah, I don't trust that dude. I'm serious. Y'all better y'all better get some spiritualness about yourself because something ain't right. What he say? If my cum is in, my spirit is in you because my cum is in your mm. Mm hmm Yeah, okay. And y'all sitting up there talking about he's a prophet. Okay, prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go over there and play with them witches and warlocks if you want to. That's what y'all going to get. You're going to get your just due and you're going to get exactly what you deserve. Keep playing. Keep playing. And God is not going to be mocked. And see, that's what people don't understand. They keep playing. God is not going to be mocked. No, he, is go he is going to make you reap what you have sown with your crater face. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get as many skin peelings as you want to get, and it's not going to help you, sir, because you, you, first of all, you're just ugly. You ain't got no alibi. You with the girl. You ugly. That's what I said. You ugly. You ugly. <laughs> Look, you when the girls, you. <laughs> you ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Oh, let me stop. <laughs> Look here. When them girls used to be jumping rope, and they be doing their little chants and cheers, they say, you ain't got no alibi. You just ugly. You're ugly. God damn. I done messed up. Oh, y'all forgive me. I didn't cut up again. Lord have mercy. The man is just ridiculous. But I'm just glad that you was able to clear it up for a couple of people. You know, it's just it's just so sad. The whole situation is sad. And stop lying. Larry, stop lying. The man ain't said all that stuff that you done told these people. Come on. He came by your house. Let me reiterate this again. So you hear this from somebody other than Daryl. Daryl sitting in his car being goofy and laughing and smiling while driving by your house is not him coming to your property. Coming to your property, sir, would have been ringing the buzzer or knocking on the gate or coming up to your front door. That would have been being on your property. Anybody has the right to drive by your house, Larry. Anybody could do that. Okay? The man just he just he was just outside being Daryl. If you if for those of us who know Daryl, we know darn well how Daryl is. So you Showing a video of Daryl outside of your house. Yes, we, we can tell you Daryl was outside the man house, but he wouldn't know his property, right? He wouldn't know his property. And, and you show us one video. Give, give, show somebody one video where Daryl gave out the man's address. Show that. Show one video where Daryl gave out the children's school. I challenge anybody. Go ahead, find it and, and, and put it out there. And send it to me, and I'll I'll eat my words, and I'll come back and apologize. But show me, show me where it's at. It ain't. Y'all just lying. Never happened. It never yep. happened. But that's the narrative because they want to paint you as some crazy vlogger, some obsessed vlogger. That's you know. Lying. But but never they don't want, but they don't want to paint him as a lying homosexual pastor who plays with witchcraft, who deals in numerology. Who 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 plants things in black dirt, thinking he casting spells? Because that's what Lester, uh, Lester, your, your lover said. Lester, the lover said, you, you're playing with black magic. That's what he said, and 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 so uh, I'm just saying what the man said. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I mean, it is what it is, bro. Just accept it. You can go around the internet all you want to, trying to repair, but you don't know what's coming later on. In the year, you don't even know this. This thing just getting started, sir. Show sure you. Mm -mm. I know I sleep well at night, but that I can imagine Marcellus that conversation that was had offline between Larry, BTV, and 
William McCray after William McCray said what he said, and them eyes got as big as this screen. And I know some f bombs and some mf was dropped in that conversation. Well, whether Porky the Pig over there has has uh HIV or not, I don't really care. Maybe you know I don't really care because let me tell you oh, something. Because he ain't messing with me, and I ain't messing with him. Listen I here, if you business. if you guys play with the devil, you get the devil's reward. Y'all want to play with the devil and act like Satan ain't real and, and that the truth of the word of God don't stand. Okay, y'all just keep playing and you will suffer the consequences. Remember when I, Jesus was alive. Oh well, I remember when conscience was old that time we served the real Jesus, the black Jesus, and all that other foolishness. First of all, I don't give a flying flip what color Jesus is, uh, first of all, because we know God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The Bible doesn't say worship him in spirit and in lies or spirit and a wig or spirit and some and some <laughs> bone nails. The, the scripture don't say none of that. The scripture say you have to worship him in spirit and in truth. That means you have to come to him in, in you know, with the whosoever will mindset. That's all I'm saying. So I'm, I'm over these people. I'm over these people. I wish them all uh, whatever they're going to do. Uh, but that's all right because you're going to get your just reward. When you play the booty bandit uh, uh, game, you get the booty bandit disease. Mm -hmm. You get the booty bandit disease. So keep playing with keep playing with God. That's all right. God got a way that you can't climb over. You can't go under. You got to come in at the door. That's right. So that's simple as that. So I appreciate you clearing it up. You know, giving these people an opportunity to know the truth. So. Cause you know it's not fair that other people can come out here and just lie on you and right. say all kind of, and say all this kind of stuff and then say and hide behind stuff. You know I'm I'm upset. <laughs> Marcella, you done made somebody mad. You just, <laughs> you had insulted Porky the Pig. Yeah, well, all I can say is, er, er, listen here, oink oink, cause that I'm telling you, everybody's getting wider and wider. While they talking about everybody else, they just getting bigger and bigger. And hey, only person. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute, because you said something. How you on a health and wellness challenge, but you getting bigger and fatter as Corky the Pig? How is that even possible? No, you didn't hear the key part in that. We doing a health and wellness immune. Oh, I get I get the immune system, but you still fat as hell with a, with a wig on there over there talking about back, back, back and forth like you and Leah. No, no, you look stupid and you sound stupid. They sound stupid. And these lies unfound them out. And they just don't want to tell the truth. And they're not gonna, they're not gonna yell, they're not gonna yell, Uncle. But that's what the hell they get. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. That's what they get. Yeah. But uh I paid I heard that immune part. We're doing a health and wellness immune system challenge. Immune system. You have to get your immune system up. Well, they're doing a lot of we. You notice how they talk over there? We doing this and we doing that. And we, we, we. We, 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 we. Poly proof Francais. Everybody over there with the we. We, we, monsieur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we. <laughs> that's what's going on. Yeah, that's Cut the problem over there. It's too much we, we. We, we. We, we. <laughs> we, we. <laughs> we, we. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Help me, Jesus. Oh, Lord. But if you've been betrothed, let me tell you something. You ought to go somewhere and sit down uh, because there's no room for you at the end. Because I, 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 I'm just telling you, everywhere uh, that, uh, that you know, these people are going, they seem to not be bringing you along for the ride. They just let you do the dirty work and you come over and, and, and second their emotions and, and so they can kick you a few dollars. Or whatever, Jesus Christ, keep the mighty. And then I love how you know Larry said, "Well, conscience is the only one that really knows everybody and all of my." No, nobody give a shit, Larry, because you guys are so easy to figure out. The Bible says that we are not ignorant to Satan's devices, sir. We're not dumb to your trick. God's gonna reveal everything. You dumb, dumb. You so dumb, dumb, plum, plum. You so dumb, dumb, plum, plum. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of dumb things. How somebody think they were gonna get a job on Fox Soul? Oh God, Daryl! That's, that's my nut bill. That's my nut bill. That's my nut bill, ladies and gentlemen. That this is our ain't... nut bill. How do you think uh, you're gonna actually get a job on Fox Soul? 
you think they're gonna pay you a salary on Fox Soul, and then you get in your feelings mm. because you didn't get the job, and then you make thumbnails and calling the man that got the job a horse and drawing got horses on your thumbnails and you're throwing shots and you're so upset about it and then Larry's out here telling well don't worry about it bigger and better things are coming your way but then in the same breath when he's telling you bigger and better is coming he turn around and super chats the person that you don't like that you jealous of super chats him $499 well here's my here's my thing to that mm. First of all, I don't I don't know Armand Wiggins personally, but I respect his hustle. When there when everybody was out here, you know, speaking ill of Armand and talking crap about Armand, Armand went over there and he built his own platform and he built his stuff on his own. So I can't do nothing but respect that, right? Oh, that's, that's all I can do is respect that. Because I can only respect men and women who go out there and build their own platform. I can respect Vincent for distancing himself and, and building his own thing, right? I can respect that. Mm -hmm. What I can't respect is people who align themselves with liars and go out there and go after people that they know are telling the truth, all while saying what well, Daryl was doing too much. Let me just say here, first of all, <clears throat> Daryl didn't do enough because everything that Daryl did, Daryl revealed truth after truth after truth, and people had to admit eventually that Daryl told the truth. Now you can, you don't have to like us. You don't have to, you don't have to do none of that, but you can't come back here and say, oh, Daryl wasn't telling the truth. First, the man said that he didn't know the boy. Then he came back and came out and said the house was never built. Then he came back and said, oh, the house was built, but he didn't live in it. Then he, I mean, the man went down so many lies that was refuted and rebutted. And then y'all have to come back Two years later, a year later, say, well, Daryl, you were so enough right, there, And we don't know how in the world we missed all of that, Daryl. Because they were saying that you were just some old crazy blogger, Daryl. And here y'all go with your tails tucked between your legs. And everybody's now having to come back and apologize. And then some of you silly vloggers is still over there, you know, doing silly slick talk. Because you don't want to admit that you were wrong because you've made alliances with certain people. And those certain people are liars. You know they was lying. And you just don't have the wherewithal to tell the truth about the whole situation. So, th and this is what makes me so angry with all of you, that you all just won't tell the truth. And it's just sad. That's all I'm going to say to that. I'm going to leave it alone. Daryl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go down that route. That, no, that go ahead. Go ahead, man. You know, but it just, it makes me mad every time I think about it because you guys are so ridiculous. And you won't be honest in the conversation and you won't have the conversations that really need to be had. Why don't you guys have a whole discussion about what, how can a man who claims to be a preacher, a prophet in the Lord's church, run around here with lovers, with male lovers and traveling to all of these places and then get <laughs> caught up on tape saying, I came in your ass and nobody comes to have the, the larger the perspective and people say oh well that you're just thinking only no 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 let me let me explain something to you either we're going to believe the biblical tradition or we're not going to believe the biblical tradition we're not you you can't tell me you you know that you're following the christ and, and, and uh, of the bible and you're turning around and you're doing things that are con completely contradictory of everything that jesus actually said and stood for now i know you might be mad because we all got some people in our lives that we love and that we care about, but let's have a larger conversation when it comes to that kind of food. We need to have a bigger conversation. You know, y'all talk about all kinds of stuff that's so insignificant and that's not important, but let me just say, I don't understand how you could call yourself a prophet, a man of God in the Lord's church, all while saying you're coming in someone's ass. I don't understand how you could say you're a prophet in the Lord's church while reading astrology and sitting around playing with black magic and, 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 and burying stuff in black sand. And then you all want to sit around and say, oh, well, he's just a vlogger. No, 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 no. He's a witch. And you got a spell cast on you. And, and only reason why he went after T.D. Jakes is because T.D. Jakes told you that the spell was broken. Huh? Mm. T.D. Jakes mm. told you the spell was broken. And this fool going to go after T.D. Jakes and I wouldn't be surprised if alliances were not being made right now to continue that story. But you listen to me, you wicked, 
you perverse people. You listen to me and you listen to me well. I don't even care for these preachers, but I'm not dumb enough to fall in line with y'all stuff. Y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves for what y'all what y'all have done to T.D. Jake. I don't even agree with everything that T.D. Jake does or says, but I know one thing. I can tell when some wicked people done got together to plan and to plot against somebody to try and extort them. Oh, I can see that clearly. Mm -hmm. I can see that clearly. And I don't know. I don't know what kind of folks you all are to where y'all can't use your brain and make a decision about truth versus lies because that man is lying. And that's why he keep it every now and then he'll bring the story back up. Oh, some more people is going and some more people is about to sue T.D. Jackson. Oh, some more people is about to go to court. They're going to file the paperwork this week. He's just stringing you along and stringing you along. And then when they for months and then here's the thing. When you do file the court papers, you damn dummy, you got to go to court and prove what you say. Got to prove what you say. And a lot of people do lie in court. We've seen that. Trust me, I've experienced it. A lot of people lie in court. They tell a whole bunch of lies in court. They sure do. Can't I'm do. just saying. Just be lying just for shakedown. But guess what? I sleep good at night. And Marcella sleep good at night. We ain't never hurt nobody that didn't try to hurt us. We ain't never came out here and intentionally lied on anybody. You can't prove that we ever intentionally lied on anybody. And anything that we've ever said, we got a audio, video, court document, screenshot, text message, something. Not just what I feel, I think. No, this is what, read this for yourself. Go to this website, pull this court case down. When I said parking lot thought got arrested in the parking lot for busting it wide open, here's the web link. You go to it, type his name in, the court case pop up. I ain't never came out here just shooting my mouth off. I had the actual court document. When I say somebody got arrest warrants, I got the court case. When <laughs> people accuse you of something, I bring the people that are accusing you onto the show. They tell their story. Uh, when I say it's an open police case, I put the police report up on the screen. I don't be out here just talking. Here's the police report. Here's the name of the detective that's handling the case. Here's his phone number. Here's his cell number. Here's his email. Here's his fact. I don't come out here lying. Yeah, I don't. I, listen here. It is what it is. We done told you guys. I don't have to. I don't have to tell you no more truth. Uh, like it said before. You're going to believe whatever you want to believe. You're going to choose whatever side you choose to be on. So we can talk till we blue in the face. Mm -hmm. But what I am, what I am going to do is I'm going to keep telling the truth and I'm just going to let the truth lay, fall where it may. And mm -hmm. you don't have to like it. You don't have to love it. But I'm just going to tell you the truth and go on about my business, whether you like it or not. And, uh, oh, and, and Larry, just so you know, just so you know, I'm not done with you yet. I know you think I'm done with you. Oh, but I have big plans for you, sir. And I'll deal with you later. Uh, but just just know I'm not done with you, Larry. And can't nobody start a West Coast party like I start a West Coast party. Because if you know anything about a West Coast party, the party don't stop. So you just keep going and do what you do. But I promise you, uh, Paul will not be the only one that has a thorn in his side. I guarantee you I'm going to be a thorn in a whole bunch of people's side here real soon. <clears throat> And and I don't think Vincent is paid to shut up. I think Vincent is he's trying to be a man of his word. Vincent he said he said, wasn't gonna talk about it no more. Right. He said he didn't want to deal with this no more. And I I trust that that be the truth. You understand what I'm saying? Now whatever he doing behind the scenes, whatever that's that's on him. But I'll tell you this: he has more than a right to tell his truth. While while the prophet is out here claiming that he's a prophet of God, charging y'all money left to right, and y'all dumb enough to pay it. And the man coming out telling you, oh, those beds slept good. He slept on y'all. That was on y'all money. That was on y'all dime. Mm -hmm. I ain't never sent Larry a, 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 an Indian nickel. A nigga ain't never got an Indian nickel from me. I would never give him a dime. He would never get a dime from me. Mm -mm. Yeah, but you can say what you want. You talking about their legal action? And oh, let, let me address this other thing. I have never lost the case that I've gone to court. 
Let us, let us uh, look at that. <clears throat> you say you've never lost a case where you went to court. We already know that you got a default judgment in one case uh, because the person just ran out of money. So if you call that a victory, you spent a couple hundred thousand dollars to go to court for you to get a thousand dollar judgment. Okay. And then you tell people that you, you won against me in court. When you requested the mediation, I didn't request the mediation. You did when you found out that I was going to subpoena your medical records and subpoena your parents and your family members to come into court. When you found that out, that's when you asked for a mediation. But you don't tell people that part. You just, oh, I won. You didn't win. The judge said that if I didn't honor the agreement, that I would have to pay $700. And then when I showed him the video evidence that Conscious TV worked for you and that Conscious TV was out here still harassing me and that that boy in Texas was out here harassing me and I had to get a restraining order against both of them and I submitted all that to the court. That changed everything. But you don't tell people that because they were out here on your, the agreement was that you or none of your employees and you said he didn't work for you. And then I produced the evidence to show that CTV did in fact work for you and was out here still harassing me. And that was a violation of the mediation that you requested. But you don't tell people that part. But you get out here and you big mouth, oh, I, I never lost a case. Okay. If that's what you want to go with, you like it, I love it. You don't want to spend almost a half a million dollars trying to sue me. I did. Well, your people paid for it, you know, your supporter. But because it ain't cost you nothing. Um, they paid for it. And then but you I get up there, you tell them, you know, a little Bible verse and amen, hallelujah, and the money still keep coming. But people are waking up to you now. Because, see, when I was talking, I was on the outside looking in. But when Vincent Hill, who was in your inner circle for 13 years, when he told what he did and what he saw and what was going on, you couldn't defend yourself against that because he had firsthand information. And when he played you admitting to paying for an arranged marriage and you talking about sex with whoever and whatever and coming in somebody's backside, you did your spirit was in them. You said that on the audio. You can't you can't debunk that. That's your voice admitting that. So you're admitting that you had gay sex with a man. Then you come on other people's platform. It's nobody's business who I sleep with, but it's your business who everybody else is sleeping with. Ain't no fun when it's your turn, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that for just a second. Oh, very yeah. good point. Very good point. How dare you come out here telling somebody it ain't their business what you doing when you running around here in everybody else's business? See, this is why the Bible says that a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Mm. See, you you so double minded, sir, that you think that you can run around here and tell everybody else's business, but nobody has a right to say anything about you. You as crazy as a frog on a hot lily pad. You dumb. <laughs> you is dumb. You is so dumb, man. Come on, bro. You don't want to run around here telling everybody else business. And let me tell you something else. You better get used to the fact when you put yourself out on the internet, people are going to say all kind of stuff again about you. It is what it is. Yes, you, can, you, you can address it if you want to address it. You don't have to address it if you don't want to address it. And you just move on. But let yep. me tell you, let me tell y'all something. Uh, God is a good God. Yes, and, and and all I'm gonna tell you is this: you better get yourself together, sir. Uh, you know, because I think, and I'm not saying anybody has anything, but I know one thing: if you go and take a test, and and the case of that test comes back as negative or positive, uh, and if you if it comes back as positive, then you've lost the case. Mm -hmm. You done lost the case, uh, the case that the doctor gave you. You done lost the case. So you can't you can't say you ain't never lost the case. Oh, blessed be the fruit. And I'll leave it there. I don't know whether you got it. Don't have it. Don't care. Um, you can go join the Umbrella Academy for all I care. <laughs> only, th only thing I can tell you is you just need to go somewhere and leave people alone. But you can keep talking because the more you talk, the more you tell on your own self, sir. That's what I'd be saying. Uh, uh, mm. You tell yeah. it on yourself. That's what I be. I'm like, why, why keep talking? Just don't say nothing. Just, just let it go. Just let it go. 
Well, I, I grew up in a church that said things like this. Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone. And, and there's a cross for me. Everybody's got a cross to bear. And, hey. and no, nobody's any different. Ken, I'm a, this is just to you, CTV and Larry. It sent to everybody in line. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do that? That's mine. See what that say? Can you do that? Can you do that? That shut everything down. If you can do that right there, that'll shut everything down. That's me. That's me. I ain't got nothing to hide. And that's current. That ain't 2014. That ain't 2004, 2001. That's six months ago. Not even six months ago. I'll take it back. Oh, um, five, five months ago. I think. Yeah. That was last year. Let, let, let's put let's put our cards on the table. Hey, I'll even I'll, I'll email you a copy. Screenshot it. Um, help me. Uh -uh. Hey, I can, hey, ain't no secrets over here. I just put mine on the live on the internet. <laughs> hey, hey, that me right there, pulled it up. That thing called my chart. Uh, do -do -do, while we sitting there talk, do -do, there you go. Non-reactive, negative. And to tell you the truth, nobody cared about his parents. Uh, or, you know, if it wasn't for us talking about his parents, uh, he probably would have never given his parents any money. And he'd lie and told everybody he paid off all his parents' debt until and his, his mom bust, bust him out. Yeah, his mama bust him out because he was lying to all of them in, in the live when he told that lie. She and said, so, no, you didn't. <laughs> let's, let's, let's think about this now. He living in a mansion that he rents, driving cars that he leases, but his mom and daddy living in a trailer on the side of the highway in North Carolina. What don't add up? Now you're supposed to be a millionaire. You bragged about you made your first million during COVID, and you admit you became a millionaire during COVID. If you're a millionaire, why are your parents still living in the trailer? A single wide trailer ain't even double wide, ain't even bricked in on the bottom. Hey, Ebony, it don't yeah, add up. It yeah, don't these, add up. These people are good, bro. That's all don't. Right. And I don't know. I I wouldn't be a millionaire renting mm -hmm. and going from house to house every seven to six months. But I wonder why you have to do that. Come on, y'all. Use some wisdom and start thinking. Bouncing, why in, it... bouncing in that U-Haul. <laughs> That's what Lynn right there. <laughs> Hurry up, Kimba. Get that shit. Get that damn couch in there. <laughs> but why do you why do you have to do that mm -hmm. if you're a millionaire and you're making all of this money and you so uber rich? It's just like Donald Trump. Y'all so stupid. Y'all done made yeah, y'all, y'all made y'all thought Donald Trump was so rich. Oh, I'm a billionaire. I'm uber rich. I'm uber rich. Mm -hmm. And now come to find out the man ain't liquid at all. He ain't got no money. And and here's the thing. And if he gave up the little bit of money he had, he would be dead broke. That's why he keeps trying to get this these bonds. Because if mm -hmm. he had to pay the money out of his pocket, first of all, he don't have it. But mm -hmm. secondly of all, it would be all of his money would be gone. Same way with this other fool. This other fool out here trying to make y'all think he got so much money because he wearing Gucci this and he got on this and stuff. Let me tell you something. All of that shit that you can get from the swap meet. That, that don't be impressed. Don't be the, impressed. The garment district in Chinatown, New York City. But listen here. If you put if you put a suit on a pig, he's still a pig. He's still a hog. I mean, it don't make no difference. I don't care if you put a diamond necklace around a piece of shit. It's still a piece of shit. With a diamond necklace on it. That's it. And Larry's a piece of shit with a diamond necklace wrapped around it. <laughs> That's what he is. He's a piece of shit. And I don't, I don't care what nobody say. He's a piece of shit. He, he is a lying sack of pe a piece of shit. With craters all in his face. With Now he got all of these black bumps all on his forehead. He coming on there. Wrap, got his skull wrapped. And he don't even have a piece of hair nowhere on his head. And got his skull wrapped. What's your, what's your skull wrapped for? 
You know why you're skull wrapped? Because you're a piece of shit. Because you're trying to dress yourself up so you'll look a certain way, but you're still a piece of shit, sir. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit for what you did to uh, T.D. Jakes. You're a piece of shit, bro. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit for what you did to some of these other people. I'm just going to keep it 100. You're an evil man. You're an evil individual. You're a hateful, evil individual. You're a sinister person. People need to look these words up and to discover what the meaning of these words are. You are sinister. There is an evilness to your nature that requires you to perpetually do the things that you do because you cannot stop. You cannot stop because of who you are and who your father is. But you go ahead and tell the devil that I said that we're fully aware of who you are and what you are and none of us are moved nor are we scared. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. But like I was saying before you came on, I said all of his accusers have one thing in common. They're not female. None of his accusers of anything are, are female. I haven't heard of any woman coming forth and say, well, he did this to me. Not a woman. Well, don't give him no ideas because the nigga will be coming out next week with some old lady come on. Yeah, I had sex with Larry that he'd be unpaid. Because, you know, every time you were, you were, uh, Less to say something about it. He come out with some something and some oh, other some yeah. other scheme. Yeah, uh, standing there in his drawers, talking. About, I got more than four in five inches. L listen here, sir. All you did was prove that you like Superman underwear. That's all you did. A Captain Crunch underwear. That's all you did was prove <laughs> that you like them red, white, and blue underwear. And you just—I mean—you're such a narcissist. They know how to pull your strings, Larry. You think you're pulling everybody else's strings, but they pull your coat every time, bro. And oh, you come out up. here, and you come out here every time, and you fall for it. The man said you had a three-inch dick, and you was out here in your underwear. <laughs> no, he lasts for three minutes. He got five inches of penis for three minutes. Uh, 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 uh. And you come out here with your drawers on, with a sock in your drawers, like, I, ain't got, I got more than five inches. Oh, just ridiculous, bro. Just ridiculous. But okay, you do. He's a, he a preacher stand up in a, in a, in a window with his draw in his draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. And here's my favorite video. One of y'all put it in the uh, in one of the groups I'm in. Y'all gonna put it in there talking about he running down the steps talking about I'm a content creator and ah! blah, 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 blah. And I'm a content creator. And if I didn't laugh my head off, listen here, Larry, you're not a content creator, you're a masquerader. There is a difference. Listen to me carefully. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. You're not a content creator. You're a masquerader because you masquerade around as someone who is legitimate. When you are no longer, you're not, as, you, you're not legitimate. You're as, you're as legitimate as the penguin is in Batman. I'm, I'm serious. You're not, you're not a legitimate individual, sir. But, but God bless you because you show not, you're not a content creator. You're a masquerader. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. But I, I, it's been a lot of these, 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 these vloggers around here dressing up and Larry in his draw, jive in a, in a tinfoil outfit like Sylvester. Uh, and, and this one here, uh, this one still, it's an oldie but goodie. This just tickles my soul though. Uh, it's just funny how this came around. You just read this. Read what's above his head. Wait, and somebody in the chat asked the comment. We got to go back to that. I don't okay. know what they say. A prophet was uh, amongst his own, with his own. What? I can't see that. He said I'm in my car. He said a prophet is not honored amongst his own. John 4, verse 44. And that's not what John said, but that's a whole nother matter. You have to know the book. The yeah. prophet, no, John did say that a prophet is without honor in his own country, amongst his own household, etc. Uh, that's what John said. Not his own. Uh, no, 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 no. That's that's you giving your uh your boot scooty uh translation, but that's right. that's that's not the actual. Uh oh, uh oh. What? Happened? Oh, he got disconnected. Hey, y'all. Uh, uh. Well, he coming back, but he over there now crying about what? Marcellus must hit a bad spot. Uh, but I'm. Oh, here he come. He come. He come. He come back. There you go. Okay. I'm sorry, I done hit the button. The okay. boy done made me mad talking talking the scripture. These people I mean, make me mad. They say he over there crying. 
Okay, we'll worry about that later. Hold on. I got to answer somebody in the chat. Yes, Lester said that Larry gave him eight grand and his mm -hmm. parents was living in the trailer, probably still in that same trailer. I don't even know. Uh, yes. connect mobile videos. Yes. I don't even know. Only yes. thing I can tell you is he sure gave Lester eight thousand dollars and was paying all in people's bills while his parents are still over there looking at the possums on, on, on the under the ground, under the house. He would get eight thousand dollars a month plus all his rent and a car was paid and his gross bill. That was just eight grand. He was just tricking off every month. That's his words, not ours. Mm -hmm. But he over there crying. But yeah, Sylvester. You know the song, singer Sylvester CR. You make me feel. Shut yeah. up, Dave. Now, I'm, that song been in my head. I'm sorry. Every time I look at that Sylvester, you make me feel. I bet he'd be running through the house with all them 18 Aquarius in that. And what what, what that man say? And he got a giraffe and a llama in the house. You make he probably get get happy and get carried away. Take that wig off and just twirl it around his head. You make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bet he do. He get carried away. Take that wig out. You make me feel. <laughs> wow, I have no comment. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he took a lot of time to put them, uh, them rhinestones on them boots, though. These boots are made for walking. That's just what I'll do. He was doing that. He was doing that thing. He looked like a. Freshly wrapped honey baked ham. I mean, he was just walking. He was Listen walking. here, Chipotle ain't never had a more stuffed burrito. I ain't lying. <laughs> That's all uh, I know. He looked like a fully loaded baked potato. Mm. Man, oh man! But he felt else. But he just he felt else. I would be he would be an okay person if he didn't lie so much. He just lied so much because he is funny. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he no, just when he did much. the funniest thing he ever did. I got to give it to you, Jive, to this day. Every time I go back and look at that drop kick me Jesus, that was funny. When he had that that little ukulele, he was playing drop kick me Jesus. I was hollering. That was that <laughs> I was think funny. we all were. I, I think we all were. were. Guys, that's what you need to do. If you do that, your your viewership will go way up because you are when you did that, that was hilarious. And when he's had that organ, he'd be playing that organ. That was funny. That part was funny. I don't know what made him stop doing that, but that's what made me tune in to Jazz, and I'll be over to do dying. But somewhere along the line, he got angry. He had Bible, what do you call it? Bible wars. He'd be cussing yeah. out. Yeah, and let me just let, let me just clear something else up. I I nobody came from Jazz's camp. I didn't come from Jazz's camp. Mm -hmm. Uh first of all, I I I uh Jazz was out there doing his stuff in the church folk revolution, we were doing our stuff. Uh, and, and let me under, let me, let me just say this as well. Uh, a lot of us predated a lot of these vloggers that you are currently now seeing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we don't, we don't need to come out here and give you our resume. I'm not coming out here trying to give you my resume. I'm just simply letting you know, uh, that, you know, I didn't come from anyone's camp, So that's a whole lie. I, uh, first of all, you're not, you're not smart enough for me to even be in your camp. That's number one. I wouldn't even be in your camp. Cause I, I, you know, that's just I'll leave it there. But no, sir, no, sir. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Man, I have had myself a good time. I have had myself a good time laughing. But if that joke over there crying, I knew something was gonna happen when when William McCray said what he said this week. Because you can't hide the truth. The truth don't need defending and it don't need rehearsing. And I, I, William McCray might lie about a lot of stuff, but the way William McCray said what he said makes me believe that he, he knows some information that, that everybody else don't know. Because you don't come out and say something like that about a person without having some information because if you do you risk slander and defamation of character not that he cared he'd been sued before but you can't come out in public and say something like that about a person unless you got some evidence that you hold it on to for a rainy day and so ctv i don't know if it's true or if it ain't true that ain't none of my business don't care but 
if it is true, you it would behoove you, big word, leave uh William McCray alone. Because what you know, William McCray ain't gonna let off his foot off the gas on you because he don't like you. Well, I don't I don't know if William can even uh hold on to some information or put information together. Because from the looks of it, he don't seem to be able to hold on to the hot and cold water knobs in oh, the bathroom shit. shower oh, in order for him to take a bath so he won't look so oh, dirty when he come online. Oh, and I'm sorry. Uh, he, he most oh, certainly needs to learn how to turn on the hot and cold water. And I'll give you another thing. Uh, he needs to go to uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. Uh, oh, shit. In that, in that, in that uh, uh, he needs to yes, go to Dr. Pimple, yes. Pimple Popper and have her to get rid of that, what, that, that Mount Fuji that is on his face above his lip. Um, I, I listen. I'm oh, just gonna. I'm just gonna tell you something, sir. You need to stop letting these people rub their penis across your face, because it's uh most certainly leaving some pin marks <laughs> under, your, under your nose, sir. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave it alone. I ain't gonna say no more than that. I'm gonna leave it alone, Daryl, because I I don't want to do too much. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, that's all I'm gonna say. I ain't saying no more. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. I'm just saying, because I I've, I've never seen a pimple look like that on a, anybody's face or ass. I ain't never seen I ain't never seen no pimple like that. I'm sorry. I, I listen, listen here. I've seen some girls with pimples on their back, and I'll be honest with you, I ain't never seen a pimple that big in my whole life. Good lord, what you? And then he had a nerve to say it's because he drink too much soda. Nigga, you really went to the you drove you rode the little bus to school. Who talks like William? I they say I drink too much soda. <laughs> oh, the nigga say they say I drink too much soda. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm so over it. Oh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my chest hurt. Oh. oh, God. That stuff that stuff had me laughing so hard. Oh, and I'm still laughing days later. All I'm going to say is you're too stupid to be running around here making alliances with people who done tried to demolish you, dummy. Larry tried to demolish you and demolish your worth and demolish everything that was connected to you. And you stupid enough to go back fooling with this fool? Something is wrong with you. You y'all crazy. Y'all like y'all are glutton for punishment. Cause all he gonna do is set you up again and make you look stupid. All right. Marcellus, we forgot about we forgot about my pee is the color of tea. Something he said. I didn't even remember if he said it was the color of tea. He said something. I don't know if he said peach tea or something. It was weird what he said. But I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say this from a from a medical standpoint. If your urine is dark colored like tea, peach tea, lemon zinger tea, whatever tea. <laughs> you need a doctor. <laughs> you need a doctor. You need a urologist. You need a, a, a ultrasound of your bladder. Hmm. And they need God to work with that, that scope and check your system out because God help us. The, your urine, if you're drinking a lot of water, it's going to be clear. The more water you drink, the clearer your urine is. If your urine is dark or cloudy, you're not drinking enough water. You're dehydrated. And if your urine looks like tea or coke, you have renal failure. Do you need to? Look, you got to say it like he did there. He said, "Water." No, he put the T E R on it. Water. Like who talks like that? I'm like this this guy, man. Oh Lord. Okay, but Dr. Pimple Popper said you can go ahead and give her a call. He said, Dr. Pimple Popper, I ain't gonna get past this. Jesus help me. No, she said call her. 
Because she got some help for you. Lord, help me, Jesus. I need mm -hmm. your help right now. Send me a revival, Jesus. Please, Jesus. I need I need a deliverance, Jesus. Please, Jesus. I'm so serious right now because if I stay on this thing, and he said pimple popper one more time, I'm going to break down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Daryl. Lord, when you be, when you be meeting men in hotels late at night, no, no, not the scubala, not the scubala. Wait, I'm just saying, and you running around letting people rub their thing all on your face and under your chin and your nose, mm. you are gonna have to go see Doctor Pimple Popper. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh boy, and that's something that a Coca Cola can't fix. Mm. Lord, ain't, ain't no Coca Cola, right. ain't no Coca Cola gonna ever fix that. Oh, I'm just Lord. saying. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. And you're gonna need more than one turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're let gonna, me stop. You're gonna need a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Father help us. Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, that's too funny. But he need to do. He need to put himself together. I just think the brother needs help. I'm gonna leave it at Look that. Look here. Look here. When we tried to help him, how many years ago it has been now? Almost four years. We tried to help him, and he he talked to us like we were the two dumbest people in the in the history of the internet. So he was like, "Dad, I ain't helping him. If you want to help him, you can." I, I was like, "Oh, cool." He was still mad then. He said that he had given Vincent. Five grand, and they shut his channels and his platform down. He wanted his money back, and all that he wanted content and all that back. But we the dumbest. We ain't gave nobody five grand to build to develop a website. I did my own website on GoDaddy. It's point and click, point and click. But you can't point and click with them long crypt keeper nails. You got to take them off so you can point and click, point and click. See, see my mm. finger there. You got to have finger there like that. You can't have these. Along his life. I don't care what y'all say. If William, if you put a picture of William McCray next to the oh, Grinch, oh, shit. I, oh, who, who, who oh, stole oh. Christmas, they look exactly one. like. Listen here. <laughs> they look exactly like the Grinch and, and William look exactly like. Let them both smile. Put a picture side by side of the Grinch and William, and you tell me that they don't both look the same. They look exactly the same. Why he always come on his lap and he licks his teeth like this? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't know. Lick his lips and his teeth. I'm like, I guess he's. I'm like, damn, is he pushing his dentures in polygrip or what? Uh, what? What's going on? Is he? No, no. Well, he could. He could have something in his mouth that's keep that's too sticky, and he had to he had to rinse his mouth out. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Oh, it could hell. be. It could oh, be. Man. He could have yeah. some something in oh. his mouth. Oh hell! And everybody say I'm the bad one of the two. Oh lord, lord. But see, Marcellus get a light skin pass. I don't get that light skin. <laughs> Whatever, oh. light skin pass. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just saying. See, I don't get that. I, I, see, if you further up my arm, you go the dark. I get. So. Mm -mm. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Help us, Lord. But but. We get painted as being the bad guys. And these people out here doing all manner of debauchery. But I, I give anything to be a fly on the wall if the CEO of CTV over there crying. Because you mean he doing another three hour, 38 minute rocking back and forth? Ooh, Larry's going to have to spend a lot of money tonight, man. He's going to have to get him a, a whole new week's worth of Party City wigs. And, I, would, and I would rather be a man who stood on my own two feet and my mm. own conviction mm. of what I thought and what I believe than to be bought and paid for. Oh, what you say? I can't, I couldn't, I could never allow anyone to buy me or pay for me. Now, I joke a lot of times and say you might be able to rent me for a couple hours, mm -hmm. but I, but the, I, 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 hell, $40 is $40. <laughs> we in a recession. No, no. <laughs> you know, you, you just, but you can't be a person that stands on your own two feet. You got to be somebody. You know, somebody's concubine, somebody's betrothed. That's betrothed, a, 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 a harem like Solomon, Solomon's harem. Yeah, that's crazy. No, thank you. No, thank y'all. But I'm done, Daryl. I got to go. I'm going to let y'all go tonight. Y'all yeah, be me blessed. Too. Me too. And y'all, y'all moderators, you know, I'll be in the chat after we get off here because we got to cut up and laugh some more. And. <laughs>
because this is this is crazy. And I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. I had my notes and everything. I went down my notes. And, and you did good. You did yeah, good. Yeah, and I had I had my even put up my my HIV status. So I ain't got nothing to hide. And yeah, well, do, and y'all do the same. I'll well, wait. I know one thing. I ain't never had to take no damn HIV medication or no prep. I know one thing. If you start asking some questions and dealing with the people you're dealing with, you shouldn't have to be taking these types of medications. If you if you're doing all kind of de I'll say debauchery, then that's one that's one of the reasons why you're having to do the things that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, you you know, you get what you give. My mother used to say, if you live by the sword, you're gonna die by it, right? Hey, man, pass the ketchup. Yeah. So hey, go on. Y'all gonna get y'all just reward. Cough, mm -hmm. cough. Pass the Nyquil, nigga. Uh uh, uh fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. <laughs> Pass the Alka Seltzers. <laughs> okay. To know that you on a health and wellness challenge. Well, you need to get the hell off. Let me tell you right now, get the hell off. Because if you on a health and wellness challenge, get your ass off because you look horrible. You this look shit. like you look like walking shit. I'm just gonna be you honest. Know, I ain't even gonna sugarcoat it. You want to get on a challenge? They say the hell with it challenge. That's what y'all need to get on. The hell with it challenge. We're just going to do what we want to do. God when bless it. God bless it. Won't y'all come? Y'all, if you haven't clicked like already, please like this video. Help me with my algorithm. And please share the video. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my two channels. I really appreciate it. And if you feel led by the spirit, in, in the ticker tape at the below, please bless the cash app. God bless you. Jimmy Tammy really needs you. Let me stop. Because if you can pay somebody to lie to you, I'm telling you the truth. Can't you give me a little something to buy? Buy the box tomorrow. You know, while I'm out. My God, from God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm out. I appreciate y'all. Um, that's all I can say. God bless y'all. Y'all be y'all be blessed. All right. Y'all be good now. I love you. I'll be back because I know they're gonna do something else crazy. And I have more to talk about that. I can't wait till that music video drop. I'm going to remix it, and I'm going to have a good time making fun of it. So, y'all be good now. But one more time for the Cripple Chill. I'm going to play these two videos, and then I'm out. So, y'all go on and laugh. For those that came a little late, this is Jazz. This is Jazz. Here we go, Jazz. Here we go, Jazz. Here we go. We ready? Here we go, Jazz. Get ready to rumble. With And here we go. One more time. William McCray. He said it. I didn't. No, um, I don't feel like I feel like on the Internet, when it comes to social media, what matters is the salaciousness of the story. And people just believe what they want to. Like there was some rumor that I had HIV. Now, that started in 19 and that I was. Which how they've been saying they've been saying I was going to die in the next 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And look, and that, but, but this is what I did. Um, the blog of Conscious TV. God, we do the build your immune system health and wellness challenge. So we always get not Well, blood. see, he do have it. See, he does have it. Who you, who you talking about? Your, your, I don't want to get into that. Your friend conscious. He's a, but, but uh -oh. oh, yeah. Oh, it's my conscious? Yeah. Okay, now. I, I can't be involved but in I, okay. conversation. Hey, I'm a, I'm a hush. Yeah. I'm, I'm a hush. Conscious. Forgive I'm me. Forgive okay. me, because I know, I know that's your friend. Right. Thank conscious, you, Jesus. Conscious is my friend. Friend is a great guy. So and I and he all that he drugged me, baby. He drugged me for fills. I heard one thing about that video. There was somebody in the background in the longer video on Larry's side. It was a guy he called by the name of Kevin. It was a bunch of men in the red room while Larry was talking to William McCray. There was some men in Larry's bedroom while he was laying down. So I'm thinking about it. I'm out. Good night. I love you.
in the NCAA tournament. I don't know. I'm pulling for an underdog to uh, make it to the Final Four. So whoever's an eight seed below, that's what I'm going to be pulling for. Good night, y'all.